Hi everyone, bonjour, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrotted Arabic. This is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic students. It's going to be a very short conversation between two female friends discussing going to the hairdresser, getting a haircut, changing their hair color. Before we begin, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're finding my lessons useful. Also, follow me on Facebook and on Instagram because I also upload lessons there almost on a daily basis. So let me turn my camera and show you my screen. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I will start by reading this conversation with natural speed because I think it's important for you to know how exactly we speak in Lebanon when we don't slow things down. But of course, we will also read it slowly later on and we will break every single detail down. Let's begin. طولان شعر كثير وصار بده قص لأنه مقصف أو طراف مقصفين رح روح قصه بكرة عند الحلاق وأعمل غرة يمكن فتح لونه شوي كمان شو رأيك أو شو قولك؟ أم أنا بفضله غامق للصراحة بس إذا عبالك تغيري ليش لا؟ حلو التغيير من وقت لوقت أو من وقت للتاني أوليك؟ Let's say it now with Latin script طولان شعر كتير وصار بده قص لأنه مقصف أو طرافه مقصفين رح روح قصه بكرة عند الحلاق وأعمل غرة يمكن كمان فتح لونه شوي شو رأيك أو شو قولك؟ أنا بفضله غامق للصراحة بس إذا عبالك تغيري ليش لا؟ حلو التغيير من وقت لوقت أو من وقت للتاني قوليك؟ Now let's read it slower and break it down طولان شعر كتير طولان شعري كتير شعر means hair شعري means my hair and طولان means my hair has grown it has grown it's not a verb it's a participle and it's a masculine participle because the word شعر here is a masculine word that's why we need a masculine participle طولان شعري my hair has grown. Now, tulan can also be used in another context. And usually, for example, when I see a kid or a child that I think has grown or became taller, I can look at them and say, tulan. Or if it's a girl, I say, tulane. And maybe the kid then would be happy that they are taller now or they have grown. Tulan, shaari ktir. My hair has grown a lot. U sar baddu as. Sar baddu as. As literally means cutting, but here in this context we understand that it's a haircut. Sar baddu. Baddu means literally it wants or it needs or it requires. Baddu us, it requires cutting. Now, sar baddu us, if we take the word sar on its own, it literally means it became, but it wouldn't make sense if we translate it literally. It became, it wants a cutting. No. When I say sarbaddu or sarbadda, it's a way to say it's about time. So sarbaddu us, it's about time for a haircut or it's about time that it requires a haircut, basically. U sarbaddu us, la innu ma'asaf. La innu, because ma'asaf. Masaf means it has split ends and it's also a participle, it's an adjective Here I used the singular form but here you notice I'm using the plural form because it has the in in the end so the plural of masaf is masfin. Here I used the singular form because I'm talking about shar, which is singular but here Trafum asfin with the in in the end. I'm talking about traf, and traf is a plural word and it means ends, the ends of your hair. Traf. Trafum asfin, its ends. Trafo, its ends. This o makes it its ends. Trafo, masfin, its ends are split. But if I take the word traf, it's the plural form of the word. Taraf, taraf, and taraf doesn't only mean the ends of your hair. It can mean the side of something or the edge of something. For example, if I'm talking about the edge of a table, I can say taraf ettaule, the edge of the table. Taraf ettaule. Taraf can also mean a party, 
And it's not the party where you go have fun and there's music. No, it's the party that has an opinion, for example, par two different parties, for example, that have two different opinions. That's taraf as well. But in that case, the plural of taraf is atraf, basically. Atraf. And it's the same as traf. Atraf is the same as traf. The only difference is that atraf is the one we use in standard Arabic. And traf, we just drop this a ah when it's Lebanese Arabic. But when we're talking about the different parties with different opinions, I wouldn't say traf in that case. I would use the standard form, which is atraf. Atraf. So, if we repeat this first sentence, it would be طولان شعر كتير وصار بده قص لأنه مقصف or طولان شعر كتير وصار بده قص لأنه ترافو مقصفين Let's continue رح روح قصو بكرة عند الحلاء رح روح قصو رح روح means I will go رح روح قصو I will go cut it. This O again is referring to شعر. That's why it's O. It's masculine. رح روح أصو. I will go cut it. بكرة. Tomorrow. عند الحلة. عند means at. ال means the. And حلة means hairdresser. حلة. رح روح قصو بكرة عند الحلة I will go cut it tomorrow at the hairdresser وأعمل غرة وأعمل غرة أعمل means I do وأعمل and I do غرة means a fringe In Arabic you wouldn't say I will cut a fringe We, we would say I will do a fringe أعمل غرة رح أعمل غرة if we look at this rah here and how it's changing all the verbs that are following it, you will no notice something. Usually in the present form, I don't say uh, ana ruh, I go, ana ruh. I would say ana bruh, b, ana bruh. And to say I cut, I wouldn't say ana us, I would say ana bus, ana bus. And to say I do, I wouldn't say أنا أعمل, I say أنا بعمل. In the present form, أنا بروح, I go. أنا بأس, I cut. And أنا بعمل, I do. All these three are in the present form. But the moment I have this رح, what happened here? All the B's dropped. That's why I said رح روح أصو وأعمل غرة. And this applies, of course, to all the verbs in the future form. So, رح روح أصو بكرة عند الحلاء وأعمل غرة. I will go cut it tomorrow at the hairdresser and do a fringe. يمكن فتح لونه شوي كمان. يمكن, maybe, فتح I lighten. فتح. Literally, it also means I open up. So, for example, if I'm opening up boxes, I say "Anna, I'm fetch. I am opening up. Anna, I'm fetch. Alab, Anna, I'm fetch. There's a B there again. Alab, I'm opening up. Alab. But when I use it to for hair to lighten the color of your hair, maybe because it you're opening the color or something. That's why we say "Anna, I'm fetch long shari," which means I am also lightening my hair color so that's fatah you notice here also the b drops in this case the b drops why because it's followed by yimkin anytime you have a verb followed by the word yimkin maybe you drop the b so i wouldn't say yimkin fatah launu no i say yimkin fatah launu maybe i lighten its color literally which means basically I might make it lighter or I might make, make the color lighter or I might go lighter basically. So يمكن فتح لونه شوي شوي a little bit. كمان also I might also lighten its color a bit. يمكن فتح لونه شوي كمان. شو رأيك or شو أولك 
What do you think? Because we're talking to a girl, we're saying Shura Yik or Shuaulik. When it's a guy, I would say Shura Yak or Shuaulak because Ak is the your form in the masculine. Shura Yak or Shuaulak. Now, here I said it means what do you think? But if we literally break this down, it means Shura'iyik. Ra'i means opinion and Ra'iyik means your opinion. It's like you are saying what? Your opinion. Shura'iyik. Now, when it comes to Shu'awli, it's even more interesting because this awl comes from the standard Arabic. Look here, it's written as Qawl. Qawl. Qawl means a say or saying something. Qawl. And when I say Qawluki in standard Arabic, in Lebanese Arabic, I pronounce it awlik. Literally, I'm saying what your, this ik is your, and qawl means your say. What's your say, basically? Shu awlik. What's your, your, this is the your, and awl is say. And if it's a guy, as I said, I would say shu awlak. What's your say? That's why it means what do you think, basically. Okay, now let's continue. Ana pfadlu gheme. Ana pfadlu gheme. I prefer. Pfadl is prefer. And pfadlu means I prefer it. Gheme means dark. Ana pfadlu gheme. Now, if I break the verb pfadlu down, the verb on its own without the o is ana pfadl. Fadl. There is this uh, l sound. But because I attached the o to it, I wouldn't say anapfadlo. No, I drop this e sound and it becomes anapfadlo. Anapfadlo. It's nicer. It sounds more native like when you say that. Anapfadlo reme. Reme means dark. Now, if I go back up here, remember I said fateh, literally to open up or to lighten. And the adjective of it, by the way, is fetih. Fetih. Light color. Or here, ghem is the adjective of ghem. So basically, fetih and ghem are the opposite of each other. They are antonyms. The opposite of fetih is ghem. This is light, the adjective, and this is dark, the adjective. Now, what's the opposite of fetih? The verb fetih, literally to open up. Ghem, to darken. Ghem, ghem. So, for example, if you want to say, I might darken its color, you can say, Yimkin, ghem, launo. You see, Yimkin, ghem, launo. I might darken its color. So, the opposite of fetih is ghem, and the opposite of fetih, which is an adjective, is ghem. For example, if I want to say uh, my hair is light, light colored basically, sha'ri fetih, my hair is light, sha'ri fetih. And if my hair is dark, I would say sha'ri ghem, sha'ri ghem. Okay, so. Ana fadlu ghame. I prefer it dark. Less saraha. Less saraha. Saraha means honesty. Less saraha, literally, for the honesty. In Arabic, you notice it's written lal saraha. If we break this down, it's la, which means for, plus il, which means the, and saraha which means honestly, honesty, saraha. So you notice in Arabic, honestly, the way you say honestly is for the honesty, which means honestly, okay? I prefer it dark, honestly. You can also take saraha and put it at the beginning of the sentence. So you'd say in this case, saraha, honestly, I prefer it dark. Bas is a abelik dreire. Bas is a abelik dreire. But, bas, but 
is a if. عبالك you feel like تغيري changing. ليش لا؟ ليش لا؟ Why not? Let's break it down because the literal translation is going to be different. بس which means but is a if. عبالك means a on bil means mind your mind and the ik here means your mind feminine abelik literally on your mind in the feminine form but here we don't literally mean on your mind we mean if you feel like it but is abelik if you feel like it and if it's in the masculine form i would say is abelak with the ak sound in the end but is abelak if you feel like تغيري Here I said you change in the feminine form عبالك تغيري It's like you are saying on your mind to change which means if you feel like changing basically So بس إذا عبالك تغيري but if you feel like changing or if you feel like a change ليش لا؟ ليش لا؟ ليش means why and لا means not ليش لا حلو التغيير من وقت لوقت حلو التغيير but pronounced as حلو التغيير with a liaison حلو التغيير من وقت لوقت حلو means nice or it's beautiful التغيير the change or changing حلو التغيير you notice in Arabic we write it التغيير but we don't pronounce it التغيير we pronounce it التغيير why because this t t letter is a sun letter and every time you have a sun letter and you add l to a word you have to drop the sound of the l so hello التغيير becomes hello التغيير now if you say hello التغيير it's fine it's not the end of the world but you will sound of course much more native if you say hello التغيير hello التغيير تغيير means change or changing حلو التغيير literally it's nice or it's beautiful the change which means change is good basically حلو التغيير change is good من وقت لوقت من means from وقت means time لا means for and وقت means time so from time to time من وقت لوقت just the way you say it in English from time to time but you can also say من وقت لتاني من وقت Latene. Tene literally means second. But here we don't mean second, we mean other. Men wa'at latene from time to the other, which means from a time to another, which means from time to time basically. Men wa'at latene. Again, here you notice I'm pronouncing latene. I'm not pronouncing laltene. Why? Here again we have the te, which is a sun letter. And in Arabic, we write it لالتيني, but we pronounce it لالتيني, من وقت لالتيني. So, حلو التغيير من وقت لوقت, أو حلو التغيير من وقت لالتيني. And the person replies and says, أو ليك? أو ليك? You think so? You think? أو لك? If I'm talking to a guy, أو لك? You think so? Now, remember when we said شو أولك? What, what do you think or what's your opinion? This is the same. قول your say and ik your أوليك. It's a way to say is this your say? Basically, is this your opinion? Is this your say? Which means you think so? أوليك أولك. Okay, so let's repeat slowly and translate. Because we are done for today. Tulan شعر كتير. My hair has grown a lot. وصار بدو أص and it needs a haircut. لأن نوم أصف because it has split ends. Or ترافم أصفين. Its ends are split. رح روح أصو بكرة. I will go cut it tomorrow. عند الحلة at the hairdresser. وأعمل غرة and do a fringe. يمكن فتح لونه شوي. I might lighten its color a bit. كمان also. شو رأيك or شو أوليك? What do you think? أنا بفضله غامق للصراحة. I prefer it dark to be honest. بس إذا عبالك تغيري. But if you feel like changing or if you feel like a change. ليش لأ? 
Why not? حلو التغيير من وقت لوقت. Change is good from time to time. Or حلو التغيير من وقت للتاني. Change is good from time to another. أو ليك؟ You think so? Let me turn my camera and say bye to you. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below and I will make sure to answer them. See you tomorrow. Bye.